the uh, Sunrise Slayer. We had the uh, pink one the other day, which was working really well. So we'll try this Sunrise Slayer. I'm running the Mutsu hook. So I'll have my um, straight line rig out the back and I'll just drop this straight down a couple of baits, put it in the rod holder and if it works the way it should do, the fish should uh, hook up without me having to fish it. So I'll just drop this straight down. Run a tight um, drag so the fish can hook itself. But make sure that you undo it a little bit in case something big grabs it. Okay, we hooked up our first fish. And what have I caught it on? The good old flasher rig. The old rod holder picking up the first fish. And there you go, those flasher rigs doing the damage. Another one, Steve-O. So there you go, rod holders hooked up again. On that flasher, they just work so well. Those Mutsu's flashes. And I quite like, like I was saying, they're the Ocean Assassin ones that I fish with. There you go. Gurna number two, and that was pretty quick. Oh, yep. Rod holders at it again. There you go. Don't have to strike. If you're holding your holding your um, rod and you're fishing them, you don't strike. Being a recurve hook, a mutsu or a suicide hook you just lift and it'll hook corner of the mouth yep hooked up the old flasher the old sunrise slayer oh yeah boy How's that for a gurned man? Just plonking this down the back of that, behind that burly. When we were fishing that east coast, the pier was using the old dropper. It's another one I'm having to go straight away remember don't strike just lift and I'm in it's just insane how these flashes work so well especially for Gurnard work well for snapper as well and even stray lining actually when you just use a standard recurve hook not too hook do the same thing, slowly lift, bottom hook again, in the corner of the mouth, they just work perfectly.